Okay, guys, so let me show you how to do that. So let's say you purchase a theme or maybe a specific plugin and part of that theme or plugin, you have an input value. So an input field like this one. So this could be a search box or any type of input field. Obviously, you will have the placeholder value, which is here, as you can see on screen, keywords. So once your visitors start typing in, it will disappear. But up until then, basically to give a hint and help your visitors, that word will display here. Now, what if you want to change this value? What do you want to change the word keywords here for something else? Basically, the only way you can do it at the moment is by editing the source code. So going into your actual files and then changing it from there. So either from your PHP file or HTML file or any file that you have on your server related to that theme or plugin. Now, obviously, if you want to update your plugin or theme later on, it will overwrite the, those changes that you've made to the files. So this won't be available anymore. So I found a way, I'm going to show you a way here, how to do that without having to edit your actual source code. So let me show you how to do that. So we go to our WordPress dashboard. And for this, we need to insert a little bit of JavaScript. So just one line of JavaScript in your footer. So to edit your footer without having to touch any of your files, we're going to install a small plugin. So you're going to plugins, add new. And in the search box, you type in insert headers and footers. And this is the one here from WP Beginner. So install that. And then once it's installed, we can activate it just like that. Very good. And now we can go into settings. And as you can see, this is where you'll find it. Insert headers and footers. So click on that. And now we're going to scroll down and we're going to insert a script in the footer section. So right here. So from here, we are going to start typing. So this is a script. We're going to specify what type of script. So type equals, and then this is text forward slash JavaScript. Close brackets. So this is our script tag. And now we're going to insert our JavaScript code. So this is for a document. And what type we're going to get element by class name. So this is the one here. And we need to insert a class name. So for this, we need to find it on our actual website. So we go back to our website, right click on this, inspect. And you will find the name right here. So as you can see it's HP field and HP field search. So we're going to select this one. This is the section that we are interested in. Control C. Now we paste it here. Okay. And then square bracket zero. And then the placeholder uh, equals. And then we're going to give it a value now. Okay. So what value do you want to give it here? So let's type something maybe custom placeholder. Okay. And then you save. And now if we go back to our front page, as you can see, it says keywords here. If we refresh, it says custom placeholder. Now again, just to make sure, as you can see here from our code, this is added to your existing footer. So there is no interference with your actual plugin or theme. And it's the same with all of this, you know, so basically whatever, if even if you have a future update of your plugins or theme, it will not interfere. It will still be working. So this is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. If so, please consider giving me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.